Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Genetic analysis show that the Texas Longhorn originated from an Iberian hybrid of two ancient cattle lineages, Taurine, descending from the domestication of wild oryx in the Middle East, and Indocene, descending from the domestication of oryx in India, 85% and 15% respectively by proportion. The Texas Longhorns are dis direct descendants of the first cattle introduced to the New World. The ancestral cattle were brought by colonizer Christopher Columbus in 1493 to the Caribbean island that would become Hispaniola to supply food to colonists. Between 1493 and 1512, Spanish colonists brought additional cattle in subsequent expeditions. The cattle consisted of three different breeds, Berenda, Retinto, and Grande Pieto. Over the next two centuries, the Spanish used the cattle in Mexico and gradually moved them north to accompany their settlement. They reached the area that would become known as Texas near the end of the 17th century. The cattle escaped or were turned loose on the open range where they remained mostly feral for the next two centuries. Over several generations, descendants of these cattle developed to have high feed and drought stress tolerance and other hardy characteristics that have gained Longhorns their high reputation as livestock. Early Anglo-American settlers in East Texas, then part of Mexico, obtained feral Mexican cattle from the borderland between Nueces River and the Rio Grande. They bred them to their own eastern cattle. The result was a tough, rangy animal with long legs and long horns, extending up to seven feet. The interbreeding produces changes in colors of the breed. The varieties of color range from bluish gray and various yellowish hues to browns, black, ruddy, and white, both cleanly bright and dirty speckled. Portuguese cattle breeds, such as Alantajena and Mortalhena, are the closest existing relatives to Texas Longhorns.